स्कारबोरो ओंटारियो विच फेडरल मंत्री जीन यवेस डुकलोस ने ऐलान कीता है कि सरकार प्रोविंस नान लॉन्ग टर्म केयर फंडिंग समझौते ते पहुंच गई है समझौते राही ओंटारियो नु लॉन्ग टर्म केयर होम्स अते सहायक रिटायरमेंट सहूलता दे निवासियां दी देखभाल विच सुधार करण ली 379 मिलियन डॉलर तो वद प्राप्त होणगे एंड दैट्स इज व्हाई आवर गवर्नमेंट क्रिएटेड द सेफ लॉन्ग टर्म केयर फंड a 1 billion dollar fund which is being used to help provinces and territories protect those living and working in long term care settings it's about protecting those that live the residents but also protecting the health and safety of those that work in the long term care centers and in both cases their physical and mental health has been severely impacted by covid-19 in budget 2021 We also invested an additional 3 billion dollars over 5 years that's about therefore 600 million dollars per year to uh, start in this fiscal year to support provinces and territories in their continuing efforts to ensure that standards for long term care can be applied and permanent improvements can be made over time now this total funding will be available to help provinces and territories do all sorts of things which we know we will be able to not only identify but also implement obviously including strengthen compliance and enforcement enforcement activities and support work force the, the healthcare workers including through wage top ups and improvements to workplace conditions including for instance uh, hours of work stability in their workplace uh, staff to patient ratios all elements of workforce support that matter not only for workers but obviously for the residents for whom the workers care for which brings us to today's announcement the government of canada has recently signed an agreement with the government of ontario that will improve the health and safety of long term care homes in this province and over the last two years we have indeed seen many gaps in infection control in staffing the shortages how to support our health care workers who support our our residents and seniors in many communities including in this one in this one infrastructure gaps as well with often unfortunately tragic uh, impacts on residents on their families and those working in long term care homes like this one now we know that these challenges existed before covid-19 but they have been aggravated by the by the crisis and as a gov- as a government therefore we must continue to work with all partners including the government of ontario so that all seniors get the care that they need and they deserve and therefore with this 379 million dollars support from the canadian government the province of ontario is developing an action plan that is setting out exactly how that will be used which includes they are hiring additional staff and introducing wage top ups and training ensuring an adequate supply of personal protective equipment for residents staff and visitors and strengthening infection prevention and control measures